Grammarly Go is a recent feature of Grammarly. First I was confused for what it does and I guess you are too. Well, I'll clear it out for you. But it is, it's pros, cons and everything in this video. Hey, what's up? My name is Shivam and before getting to the video, if you want to check it out, then you can do so anytime from the description below. Starting with what exactly Grammarly Go is. Everyone was jumping onto AI. ChatGPT is here, Notion is on it, so Grammarly thought why not us. They introduced Grammarly Go that has AI functionalities which is supposed to help us write better with the help of AI. You might ask what are pros to it now. The biggest pro of Grammarly Go is the app and how it seamlessly integrates. Grammarly already had an app for Windows, Mac, Android and iOS devices along with extension for Google Chrome and Firefox, even for Microsoft Office. So wherever you are writing, you can quickly pull out Grammarly Go and ask it to do the magic. If you were using ChatGPT, you would have to go to browser, then make a query and copy that back to whichever app you were at. With Grammarly, you will see this icon on the side to pull up Grammarly Go wherever and whenever you need, like Notepad, Notion, Office, etc. You could also stop it from appearing in some apps too. Second pro is that you can personalize the way it writes. You can select the tone of your writing, like you can keep it casual, formal, confident, and you can even select the language like Indian, American, British, Canadian, and Australian English. Once you save that, it will generate prompt in that specific tone and writing style. There are also built-in commands like you can ask to pick out the main points, write project idea report, offer a response, tell a story, and many many more. Another pro is that it is available for everyone, no waiting list or anything. And the best part is it's available even on the free plan, which is rare to see. You get 100 prompts per month in the free plan, which is not much but still get things done. In the premium plans, you get 1000 prompts per month. Nothing is perfect, right? And so is Grammarly Go. There are few drawbacks that you need to consider before getting that. First is that, like other AI tools, it gives a sense of incomplete. Like sometimes you will find that the information is false, missing or outdated. What ChatGPT do from time to time. So you cannot totally rely on it. But using it for basic tasks is good. Second is that for the free plan, I think 100 prompts could be limited for some people who are heavy users. I can think of some people who will run out of the limit soon. Pricing wise, there are three plans, free, premium and enterprise. That is $12 and $15. I like that there is no complicated pricing. Getting premium not only gives 1000 prompts, but it also has many features unlocked like advanced grammar checking, English fluency, formatting, word choice and much more. Talking about my personal experience with Grammarly Premium, it's an awesome program. I've used it extensively, there is no document that I haven't checked from Grammarly. You can check out the full review from the top right corner. On the other hand, Grammarly Go is more like an addition to the main program. If you look at it like that, you will be satisfied with the results, but buying Grammarly alone for the Go feature won't be feel like worth it. That's it from my side. Hope you found this review helpful. Now if you are looking to manage your appointments then you must watch this video right here or you can watch my recent video from here. Like, share, subscribe. Stay safe. Bye-bye.